there, it's Leslie Langdon with Unity TV and today is our fifth episode and today we'll be doing a tag right here, I'll show you. Very, very cute using the Suzy Blue stamp um, called Pooey Love and we'll also be using a text background which I happen to love, um, any text background stamps. They're so versatile, you can use them on anything. This is called Give It All Meaning, it's a Unity stamp. And then here's the Pooey Love I mentioned by Suzy Blue and also made by Unity Stamp Company. So stay with me and let's make a cute tag. All right, so we're gonna start stamping our text background. I'm just gonna use a black ink. This is called Memories Ink by Stuart Superior. And then I've got this stamp, uh, Give It All Meaning by Unity Stamp Company. It's a great text background. It's big and it will do the job. So I'll start with a tag. Well, it's actually just a piece of paper now, but it's four by six, white smooth cardstock. Ink up your stamp. Okay, and then we'll stamp in the top left corner. Press firmly. There you go. And then I just need a little bit over here, so I'm going to stamp off the page. Okay, and then I need to fill this part in the bottom, so I'm just going to stamp the top again. There we go, and one more. I don't really need to re-ink if I'm just doing a little corner like that. Okay, so we're done with the text stamp. This is what we have so far. Alright, so now we can go ahead and stamp our cat, our Pooey Love stamp, which is so adorable, by Suzy Blue. And it's an itty bitty, so you buy it on its own. It's an individual stamp. So I'm going to stamp it once in the bottom corner here, where it's going to go. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp it again on a white piece of paper, and it's this one that we're going to color and cut out and pop up on top of this one. So before I put my ink away, um, I want to prepare the balloon as well. Okay, so I want my balloon to say happy birthday. So what I'm going to do is stamp it on this piece of cardboard that I've ripped off from a box. Um, and the only reason I'm stamping it now is just to make sure that the size of my balloon will be big enough for my sentiment. All right, so it's gonna look something like that. I've got my happy birthday. So I'm gonna go ahead and freehand cut a wonky balloon around it. So here's my hand cut balloon. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this and let it dry, because this is a step that we'll want to have done relatively soon. So I'm gonna take some paint here. This is studio paint called Dash of Red. This is one of the Claudine Helmuth paints. I apologize if I pronounced any names wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a nice coating of this paint. It's gonna be a nice big red balloon. Okay, so I'm gonna paint two coats of this. So I'm going to let this one dry a little bit. Then I'm going to come back and coat it again. But we don't want too much texture because if you're going to be stamping on this, you want a smoother surface. Okay? So I'll set this aside and we'll come back and finish up the painting later. So this is the fun part. This is coloring with Copic markers. I've got two gray colors here, C3 and C5. And you'll notice that they are two numbers apart and that's perfect for shading. So you start with the lighter color first, and since I'm going to be cutting this image out, I'm not going to worry about staying in the lines, which is what I love. So what you want to do, completely saturate the image, avoid the nose and mouth of the cat. I'm going to go over the heart as well because I'm going to be painting that at the end, so it doesn't matter if I color over it. Okay. 
and the tail. All right, so I've got one coat here. It's relatively saturated. Be nice and wet. So when you go and apply the darker shade, it will blend in nicely. Okay, so the darker shade, I'm going to go around the edges. Now you can go in like this from the outside in and just do a, a pattern where you're just kind of flicking the marker. Okay, and the tail, I'm just going to do a line underneath. Okay, and you can go around and shade all around the edges. And what you'll do is you will go back and apply a second coat of the lighter color. All right, so again, last step. Just in a circular motion, you're going over everything you've colored. And this will just blend in that darker gray and make it all look uniform. Okay. Even the tail will just go over. Okay. So a little bit of pink. I think my cat needs some pink. So I'm just going to give a little pink in the ears and the pink in the mouth and nose and maybe even in the cheeks and maybe a little over here on the eyes okay so the cat is colored I'm gonna go ahead and cut him out and I'm going to eventually pop him up on our tag um, next thing I'm gonna do is actually start to make it look like a tag alright so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the corner here I learned this from Angela. You take that piece that you cut off and you just put it on the other side so that your cuts are even because it's always hard to get the same cut. All right, so we have a tag. Next thing I'm going to do is use a punch. This is a Paper Shapers punch by EK Success. And I'm going to cut out some paper. This is from Bella Boulevard. It's a heart shaped paper. And I'm going to fold it in half, this little tag that I've made. And I want to put it up top there. Okay, so I'm just going to glue it down. On two sides. With the hearts facing up. Try and center it if you can. Voila. Take a hole punch. Make your hole in the center. There we go. We have the makings of a tag. Alright, next thing. I'm going to take this ink. It's by Colorbox. It's a pigment brush pad um, called Robin's Egg. I'm just going to go around the edges of the tag just to give it some definition some clear edges. It's a nice match to the paper that uh, I just put on the top. Okay, so there we have that. Next, with my tags, I like to add some ribbon or something frilly to add dimension. So I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna zigzag stitch this frilly ribbon. It's um, by May Arts. I'm gonna go stitch it on the bottom so that it will look cute. All right. So, in the meantime, I will also do my second coat of that red paint on the balloon, and then everything will be ready for us to put together. So, first things first, I'm going to finally attach our cat, and I've got this piece of 3D foam. Okay, you can use any 3D foam you have. This one is by Glue Arts. It's called You Cut It. Okay. So I'm going to place it right on top of the original stamped image. There we go. Okay, so now our cat is nice and popped up. Um, then I'm going to take this cute pom-pom ribbon that is from May Arts, and I'm just going to wrap it around the bottom. Okay, cute. All right, so it's coming together. <laughs> it's adorable. 
And then I've cut three ribbons that match. So I've got a red one with hearts that will match our balloon. I've got a pink one that will match the ruffles and the pink down below and the blue that will match our pattern paper and the inking that we've done. All right, so now it's time to stamp on our balloon. So I'm going to stamp happy birthday. All right, so I'm just using the black ink there. I'm going to stamp happy birthday. So I'm just using the black ink there. Press down. Okay, and then birthday, make sure it's the right side up. Stamp that right below. Okay. So we want our balloon to be glossy. So I'm going to take this Versamark ink and just dab it onto the balloon. Okay, and then take your ultra thick embossing powder, and this is by Ranger. You just want to sprinkle it on and then shake off the excess and you'll see that there's a nice coat of UT on there. I'm going to go into my kitchen and heat dry this. Okay, so this is one coat. You can see that it's nice and glossy. I'm actually going to do one more coat. Okay, so we're ready for our final step which is to adhere our balloon to our cat with some wire and some you cut it foam. So some 3D foam. I'm actually going to pop the balloon up first on top of the tag in the top left corner. Okay, so it will sit right about here. Okay, so it's off-centered. There it is. And then we're going to take some wire that you'd normally buy. You could buy this from Michael's or from some craft store. It's usually for beading or for jewelry making, but we're going to use it for as our um, balloon wire. So you can cut it with regular scissors. This is 20 gauge wire, so you can still bend it quite a bit. So I'm just going to stick it inside of the cardboard as far as it can go, and it'll just, it'll just stay there. Okay, and then I want the cat to appear like it's holding it. So I'm just going to trim the wire because it's a little long and then I'm going to jam it underneath and it's going to actually stick into the foam that's under there. This is our final step is taking our paint that we used on the balloon and just painting the inside of the heart. Now this will bring red down into the lower portion of the um, tag and just help bring the consistency to our color scheme. Okay, Just be very careful here. Probably a finer tip paintbrush would be better. And just, you can dab on the color if you want. If you have stickles, you can use stickles. This is just a better color match if you just use the same paint. Okay. So I'm going to stop there and we are all done. All right, so stay tuned for a supply list and for pictures of the finished product. Okay, there you have your Pooey Love Tag. Thanks for watching.